So we're going into the second unit. This unit, the current owners were able to do some renovation on before the tenant moved in. And that's why it looks so much nicer. So we've got nice floors. Yeah. I like this opened up from the kitchen. Makes it really nice. And you can see it set up with furniture. So you've got your Renai heater plus your electric baseboards. The kitchen's all been remodeled and painted. Those are just painted cupboards. So it makes a big difference with just paint. And if you put up a nice chandelier like this, it just looks perfect. But see the difference in the, in the walls just being painted. That unit has just not had anybody in it forever to clean it up and fix it up. They're, they're still going to have somebody come through and do a quick uh, clean up next door. So, very nice unit. Little, these little handles, but these are just the regular cupboards. They just paint up really nice. They're old cupboards, but they're solid. I love them. You got a really nice tenant here. And then you've got a flat surface stove, electric stove. Nice. Yeah, this is a nice tenant. Very nice. Nice and neat. So down, see they've taken and put, you know, a, a flip lock floor down. I don't know if I'd put the wood more. I'd put the laminate. These might be the stair treads that are underneath the stairs and the other one. And then you just paint the risers and clean up the stairs and, and stain them. And they're very nice. And then you get the flooring down here. That's a quick lock. This is more of a laminate in the bedroom. This is what I put down in the other unit because this is really easy to take care of and maintain. It's a vinyl laminate. You can get it anywhere from 99 cents a square foot to whatever. There's lots of lots of different prices. So that is the type of window that you need to put in. You need to put in some kind of step because it needs to be 44 inches from the floor to the window. And then you've got the stairs there. This Doors are all painted. Everything's painted nicely. We've got the Hartford Fire people here checking the fire, checking the windows. So you've got a vinyl laminate here in the in the bathroom also, which makes it look really nice. Again, painted cupboards. Paint is your friend. Make friends with paint. Because this place looks very nice. This is a very nice tenant. I would definitely keep this tenant. There is nothing out of place here. He is quite nice. <laughs> what does this tenant pay? 15 Yes. This, this tenant is paying 15 a month. So this is where the shutoff is? Okay. The water. And this needs to have the water department and I thought trying to find where it was. Mm -hmm. It's behind this, so you have to take this out. You see the shell screen right yep, there? Yep, okay. And the water department said if I were you, I would put a little door there so you can just open, open it. Open it very easily. So you should, you, should, you should have somebody put a little door here because your water shut off is in this and you have to take this shelf out and then you have to unscrew that. And if you need to turn off the water quickly, that's not gonna happen quickly. So putting a little door in there, right in there, would be very easy to do and solve a lot of problems. So that's something to think about right away. You've got a single shower here, very nice condition. Up above, looks good. You've got a fan that comes on with the light. 
this is a little different. So your electric panel is here. Oh, and this one, your electric panel is in where the washer and dryer are. So this washer and dryer belongs to the property. Outlet for the um, dryer that's just disconnected from the wall, so that just needs to be secured. Reconnected, yeah, definitely. And is the washer and dryer the tenants or the owners? Tenants. So the tenant needs. We need to talk to the tenant. No, about, no, no. no. I, okay. Let me verify that. Mm -hmm. I think actually we do own it. Okay. Okay. I would assume that the wall, yeah, the outlet would be part of the building. So this window is perfect, right? Yep. This this window right here is the type of window that they should be putting in the next door? Yep, as long as it meets the uh, five square feet. Right, so it needs to be exactly like this window. Measure this window and duplicate I it. I would say so, yeah. yeah. And then you're saying that that one doesn't need a step? No, all, all of them do. So okay. there needs to be one step uh, in each. In so each if you room. have to be 44 inches down from the from the yep. from the window yep. to the floor or to a step. Yep. So from the bottom of the windowsill to the ground, it needs to be less than 44. So just a little step on the ground. Yep. Built Perfect. in, permanent. Yep. Yes. Okay. And then uh, just gotta check the the back decks and mm -hmm. I think we're we're all in there. So this is your second bedroom space. It's got this great big window. And again, you should make some kind of wooden step. It can be up here with the plug underneath it so that somebody can step up on it and then be able to get out of this window. So some kind, and it doesn't have to be very long. It just needs to be big enough for someone to get on, be permanent, attached to the wall, so that they can get out this window without having to worry about not being able to jump up high enough to get out the window. So 44 inches from the bottom of the windowsill down to wherever the step needs to be built above the floor. This room is also nice and clean and neat. Oh yeah, these tenants are worth keeping for sure. Very nice. The unit is very nice. But again, this floor in here is the vinyl laminate. Um, they have vinyl laminate that actually that has an adhesive on one side and on the end, and they stick together. And it's very easy to put down. And most of it is mold resistant to concrete. And then you have this great big storage closet here where obviously they can put their bikes. It's big enough for bikes. And then it goes around the back corner. Nicely done. So you've got a walkthrough of each unit with lots of information from the fire marshal so that you can have these to show off when you want to rent your unit. This one would be if they ever move out, which I doubt if they want to. I think they want to stay, and uh, but it's a nice unit.